Wildlife rescuers in the East Bay helping a badly injured owl live a more normal life. And KPX 5's John Ramo shows us they're using cutting edge technology to do this. Here at the Lindsay Wildlife Rehabilitation Hospital in Walnut Creek, there is an extraordinary effort underway to help one of its tiniest residents. And in doing so, it is bringing out the very best in humanity. This is Pueyo. At nine years old, she's considered a senior citizen among burrowing owls. She came here in February after her leg was broken and eventually it withered and fell off. For an animal out in the wild, that's a death sentence injury. For an animal that's in a zoological facility, you know, it's a challenge. But boy, did she come to the right place because here the veterinary staff and curator Emma Molinaire love a challenge as much as they do animals. So they recruited a team of tech designers who are remaining anonymous to create a 3D printed prosthetic leg for Pueyo. The first prototype looked like a bird foot, but kept getting snagged. So they switched to a design similar to the blades worn by Olympic para athletes. And during our last prosthetic try on, Pueyo actually stood on this prosthetic for the first time. Not for very long, but she actually was standing and able to move on it briefly, which was very, very exciting. The idea is to give Pueyo something to stand on while she uses her good leg to eat and clean herself. But it's only possible because Pueyo, who was raised in captivity, is so calm around people. The bird can actually communicate with Emma. If she goes to a certain corner of her cage, it means Emma is supposed to go away and leave her alone. And being able to do that get, lets her trust me. And trust is the most important part. If she doesn't trust me, we can't do this. Emma says to her knowledge, this is the first time a raptor has been fitted with an artificial limb. But she says the fighting spirit of her little friend left them with no choice but to try. And seeing her stand on this even briefly for the first time was just incredibly emotional and really exciting. And it's why we're working on it, because we want to see her be more successful. Some may ask, why do this? Why not just let nature take its course? But the people here believe that with so much of man's touch on nature being harmful, it's important to help wherever and however you can. In Walnut Creek, John Ramos, KPIX 5.